guys welcome back to a new darkness rises video and happy new year guys in this video i'm gonna talk about how to make darkness rises great again or better than it ever was in 2022 so what what are those contents those updates those changes that in my opinion will make this game 10 times better okay so let's get started first thing that i'm gonna talk about that I want to improve and change are things related to gameplay, graphics, server stability. So let's let's start from here. So what I wish, I wish guys for 2022, they will try to optimize the game. Uh, uh, they this game is using Unreal Engine 4. Uh, I don't know if you know, Unreal Engine is one of the most powerful game engine. Okay, so most developers uh, use this uh, graphic engine because it's very good, okay, one of the best, if not, if not the best. And now Unreal Engine has a new version, 5, and that has some really crazy things. If you don't know, go search on Google, uh, on YouTube, sorry, Unreal Engine 5, and check the, they have like a demo for Matrix. Man, that, this engine is so powerful now, so what i expect and wish okay it's more wishing i don't know if they will do that it will be nice to upgrade the game to update the game i know it takes time but it's a mobile game so it's not as hard as upgrading a pc game upgrade the game to unreal engine 5 why i say that because this will make the game run way way smoother as you know we have the loading screen in in this game they take so much time crashes everything and maybe this will be a solution for all the crashes all the bugs in the game maybe could be but at least guys will get way better uh, graphics the game should run way faster why because of the uh, new technology they have lumen so the lighting is more closer to real uh, also um, <clears throat> they have uh, nanite Nanite is a technology that gives you billions, billions of, um, how do you say, triangles, textures, uh, not, ah, how they are called? Triangles, okay? So, as you know, each character has different, um, let's say, triangles that's made of, I forgot the name, I don't know, I don't remember the name. How you call it? Not triangles. Ah, man. Anyways, you understand what I want to say. Polygons, okay? Polygons. And uh, the more detail, the more polygons. So, with that technology, guys, guess what? The game, uh, the with this uh, Unreal Five, uh, it uh, with uh, the um, not Lumen, the Nanite technology, it can handle billions, millions, billions of uh, these polygons. So, increase detail at uh, no cost of uh, fr frame rates. So the frame rates will be the same guys, actually better. So this will allow them to create more content and make maybe what we wish for such a long time, open world maps where we can see the other players, play PV, PVP with them, interact with them. That will be amazing. Plus improvement in graphics for sure. It needs, it needs a revamp because this is an old game, three years plus. And why not? I want to see better graphics and other things that I want to improve. Camera. Right now, if you go and play, you cannot control the camera. I want a third person perspective. They can do that. will be amazing for the camera. So where we can look up, down, we can control the camera. You know, third person. That will be amazing. Or at least, if not completely third person, give us more options like zoom out, zoom in, you know change the rotate the camera in some of the content that will be amazing How, what do you think guys would you like that me for sure i i, I wish for this for a long time uh, other things uh, related to the graphics to the i don't know this kind of mm, what will be so definitely a graphic overhaul okay so more more a uh, better um, Using the new technologies, you know, better lighting, more details, 
better texture, better or smoother gameplay, and definitely server stability. That's a, a must. Hopefully they will fix it. Maybe an answer will be upgrading to Unreal Engine 5. I don't know. I'm just, you know, speaking my mind. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, what else? So this is related to graphics, to server stability, things like that. Uh, next, what else? Well, um, another thing, more content. And when I mean content, I'm talking about uh, for last year, a good content was the character awakening. I suggested that for a few years and they listened. Somehow they didn't made it how I wished they would, but they can still expand on that. So more updates related to character awakening. That's what I hope and wish for. They actually said they will do that, but let's see uh, what I see that how I see that going so definitely more awakening levels and like I said maybe go up to level 30 or higher and with new levels I want to see more um, new type of awakening systems or gears or contents you know like after we reach for example level 20 to unlock a new awakening future for our characters to give you an example, maybe open a new slot for gear, maybe add um, extra skills, definitely in here increase level for awakened transfer and attributes, extra attributes, why not branch out further because uh, we get more points from the levels. So we want to play with this one. This actually is uh, it's quite fun. It's quite good. I like the awakened attributes. This definitely uh, give us more option to further customize our characters. And I wish they will expand more on that. They could add more trees, make it more complex. Why not? I don't think it's that hard. So yeah, because we want to play with different builds, as you know. This makes uh, it's quite fun for to test in PvE and PvP different builds. So I, I hope they will expand more on this. They will add extra uh, three skills so we can test more uh, builds now. Uh, what else? So, um, oh, another thing to Awakening. I was telling from the beginning before they upgraded to Awakening, change the way the character looks. So this could be a new feature, feature, not f future, feature in the character uh, Awakening development let's say a level 20 maybe add um, ways to customize to make our characters look awesome like you see in this image the f the fire that is he, he goes super saiyan mode no <laughs> so you see fire he's burning his skin his eyes his hair glows his weapon so i want this option man i want this option so bad for our character so you will know this character is really powerful he awakened you know you, j you also see it not just stats you know that will be amazing so if they can pull this off oh my gosh <laughs> that will be really cool okay another thing gear definitely new gear we have lundel pv for uh, for the gear and for the accessories we have the pvp so maybe they will add the uh, PV, PVP option for uh, Lundell, for the PVP Lundell gear and PVE Lundell accessories. Uh, another thing, I want to increase the, make it permanent, the 50% rate for rank L fusions, maybe increase it even more to 60-70%, that will be amazing. Um, gear awakening. That's what I'm hoping and pray for. I want gear awakening. What? How I see that? Not getting new gear. So you already have legendary gear, be it Lundell or any other type. PV, PvP, doesn't matter. Okay, so once you reach a condition to get to awaken your character should be get to level 80. Doesn't matter which gear. Can be Lundell, can be PvP, PvE, Ultimate, doesn't matter. As long as level 80, you can upgrade you have the option you'll have here an option awaken okay and in order to awaken 
definitely you need some materials those materials you could get from new type of uh, new uh, adventure stages okay so they need to add new adventure stages and new story that's a must okay they said they will add by uh, in december they didn't add it they say they will add this year hopefully not uh, at the end of the year i expect towards the beginning january february we'll see so uh, those materials let's say let's call them awakening uh, shards okay that's the name that i'm gonna imagine they will have and um, awakening shards so you'll need uh, different amounts for each piece of gear for example for weapon let's say you need 50 for the armor you need 20 or 30 for the helmet you need 15 for the accessories about the same 20 or so you need different amounts the weapon being the most important definitely you should need more the armor is second best and same for the helmet so you need a bit more but not as many as for the weapon so those you can farm in new type of pv uh, content could be right could be adventure or both of them uh, or other ways to get them and once you get them you can upgrade you can awaken your gear okay same way you upgrade from s but you need upgrade stones from uh, s plus uh, plus sorry from uh, uh, a plus plus to s plus plus similar but the awakening will change how it looks will add that glow possibly a glow awakening glow to your gear weapon um, will make the weapon the main stats way better could double the stats why not <laughs> why not let's double the stats i don't mind that uh, could add extra slots for for um, jewels and not just for jewels for these traits extra traits could add could add extra skills let's call other um, gear awakened skills or attributes uh, those skills can be passives or active they can play with that it's i leave that to them could be passive buffs or active also skills like we have for weapon we have this one but we have only for weapon we don't have for armor and any other piece will be nice to have for the other pieces after awakening so the awakening will make the stats better will add extra slots maybe other type of uh, things can add to it new skills attributes maybe and will change how it looks the gear so you will see this guy awakened the gear he looks you see a specific glow maybe different uh, why not different um, design no a different design will have a dis different design will look even more scarier or i don't know that will be nice uh, what else uh, so we talked about gear awakening same for the accessories then other things let's go to pets okay pets what i expect to add more pets from the chest not for only pay to win they could add the old pets that were paid to win they could add them slowly obtainable from summons either with gems or pet eggs or yeah why not add pet fusions so at a chance if you fuse uh, s to s pets at a chance you can get um, a better s pet with a maybe one of the new ones now that used to be paid to win legendary pets the addition of legendary pets that will be also maybe the uh, fusing uh, sorry yeah fusing s pets will give legendary at a chance so yeah legendary pets that's what we want and what i expect from legendary pets uh, definitely higher stats way higher stats extra uh, traits maybe up to four or five uh, pet skills that will be amazing as active or passive skills uh, i would love if they will actually look different i would lo love to see like uh, all this they look like baby you know like more scarier versions so when you 
upgrade to legendary maybe every pet will look more scarier better maybe they will add some type of armors to them and another thing they could play with they could add play with the idea of pet uh, accessories pet gear with stats that you can benefit from why not they could exploit that no i don't think we will I, for sure i won't mind that and i'm sure the players will love that so further option to customize and make your pet stronger and your character at the same time also i told you about pet skills attributes things like that not just attributes skills active passive another idea what else pet fusions i talked about that um okay let's go to other things so legendary they could add for pets costumes costumes let's go to costumes guys costumes again they should add more costumes from this okay from the chest they could add more chests with costumes in here um what else legendary costumes when i expect this here how we could get to legendary from fusing level 60 s costumes s plus or s plus plus something like that so legendary costumes that will be stronger well powerful now if we get we don't get much power compared to legendary gear we don't get much power from the current costumes okay so it's not that exciting when they release new costumes that's why people they don't care about the costumes it's just design but no power so i expect to bring up step up the game and bring legendary costumes really soon and don't make them pay to win you know make them achievable for everybody even if it takes longer doesn't matter um, and yeah they should have really powerful strats, stats to match the gear right now the legendary gear and definitely they could change the design after you get legendary i don't know if they have the resources to make a legendary counterpart for all the current costumes but they could add like they could start with three legendary uh, costumes and then they could add more and more all the new uh, costumes could be legendary and then they we will want to get them now we could get them from fusions pay to win shops doesn't matter as long as we have different options for free to play and pay to win players so i'm maybe i'll talk in a different video about costumes um costume fusion uh, costume deco fusions nothing they didn't add i don't know when i hope they will same for yeah all the costumes deco i want to see fusions in there um and they, yeah gilded gilded increase the chances to get gilded since they will add more powerful and when you upgrade to legendary they should make uh, somehow possible to get legendary gilded okay and i don't want to make that pay to win so i want that to make it achievable somehow will be nice if we could upgrade from s plus plus costumes to uh, legendary some type of upgrading material that will be perfect but we'll see what else definitely we want improvement we have more challenge in the all the pv content infinity tower like extra 50 to 100 floors where you need up to maybe 150 million power 200 million power if they will add gear awakening and other legendary things why not 200 million power and the reward should be worth it no uh, gold dungeons daily dungeons improve rewards more levels hell they didn't improve hell also for a long time add legendary stuff in here okay it's loading so <clears throat> uh, not not hell sorry yeah for hell they could add level three maybe why not not hell i was talking about um, the other i'm gonna show you um gate of the dead i meant gate of the dead add new levels in here level five six seven maybe and we should get legendary gear fragments instead of a plus plus it's outdated 
also legendary chance to get legendary polishes refined stones more gold and other stuff but definitely we should should require higher power for that um okay get of the dead labyrinth nobody cares about that <laughs> rides rides improvement for rides more levels up to right now the highest a tier 8 you need 23 million power no we want 100 million power plus but the rewards should work like legendary polishes refined stones legendary gear oh another thing legendary runes and uh, jewels that's another idea that can add to the game so more legendary stuff uh, equipment you know okay what else new story and new adventure stages for sure this is a must i hope as fast as possible we want to challenge ourselves before we wanted more power because we wanted to be able to defeat the current bosses in adventure stages and the story and the new chapters to get the, those titles so i expect that they will add as fast as possible we want up to 100 million plus power maybe 150 million they could add new modes for all this so for all these stages the current stages or they could start with uh, let's see, let's go i'm gonna show you they could start with eastern losteria okay the first how many 18 uh no they are 180 actually stages they could add a new difficulty mode okay starting from the first one okay from which one is the first okay you got the idea from here they could add another difficulty level for all of them and from there we can get why not stuff related to awakening to gear awakening to i don't know whatever they will have legendary pets legendary uh, stuff you know more gold more experience also increase in the uh, level maybe add to 150 slowly 10 levels every few months another thing more contents more often more updates like every two weeks that's what i hope this is really if you want the game to stay alive you want more contents more often they could add like i said a big content every month and a smaller content every two weeks with events and definitely we want another thing new character but if they add new character or characters they need to make the contents and uh, all the things like events contents care uh, not account based most of them not character based they should increase the rewards but make possible to play uh, one time per account so we don't because how we feel right now that we have to complete all the new events and all, they are very hard to do on seven characters imagine if they will add new so this should be the condition new character but they should even if they don't add new character they should make some of the if not all of the events and content account based not character based but improve the rewards so we don't feel like we have seven times less rewards we feel we'll get the same amount of rewards but we need to play less will be will, the game will feel less tedious so we'll have time to play the our favorite contents maybe pv pvp i don't know socializing the game <laughs> so yeah definitely they need to improve the um, pvp they add new pvp content i would love to see uh 50 versus 50 maybe that will be possible if they upgrade the engine i don't know like mass pvp would be amazing i don't know if they will be able to pull that ever so yeah there are so many ideas i don't already this video is too long so anyways let me know please guys come with your own ideas comment down below and yeah i'm gonna talk more about that in future videos so let me know and see you in another one and again, Happy New Year, guys. Bye.